Okay then, for our start today's Retro Bat in Doom 3 or Boom 3 engine setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So let's just get one thing straight. I felt dooms today by setting up doom free and boom free within retro bat even just jamie gets stressed out sometimes but i got there in the end and i'm going to show you how to set this up this is of course the boom engine within retro bat so what we're going to need then is a copy of doom free resurrection of evil i've got this in zip file extension so if i just drag the contents out for now Okay then, once you've extracted the contents from the Doom 3 zip folder, I'm going to show you exactly what you need. So if we go into that Doom 3 folder, uh, we've got lots of subfolders inside of here. So the ones to be looking at is the subfolder of base, and inside of the base subfolder, we got 8.pk4 files. The other folder that we crucially need is the Resurrection of Evil folder, which is D3XP folder. If we go inside of there, this is what you should have. So, what we're going to do from that Doom 3 folder, I'm just going to drag and drop the base folder and the D3XP folder out onto the desktop. That's the only folders that we're going to need. So, we can delete that Doom 3 folder. So, just remember, base folder and D3XP folder, that's the ones we need for this. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is go into the RetroBat directory. If I right click on the RetroBat shortcut, open file location, ROMs, and from ROMs folder, we're just gonna search for Boom3. This is where things are going to go. If we go into the Boom3 folder, I'm gonna drag and drop my base folder. And just remember, inside of your base folder, we should have pack 000.pk4 to pack 008.pk4 so those are going to go inside of there and inside of your base folder we're going to drag and drop that d3 xp folder inside of there okay so if we come back out to the root where your base is we're going to need to create a couple of text documents so if i right click here new text document what I'm going to do is backspace everything. So new text document dot text backspace everything just there. And I'm going to rename this doom free space hyphen space resurrection evil. And then I need to create a new file extension for this. So dot boom free and then just press enter on this. If you change your file name extension, it might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. Okay, so once we've created this, we're going to open it back up with Notepad. And inside of here, I'm going to type in d3xp slash pack triple zero dot pk4. Then if I go to file and save, and I'm also going to create another text document in there. So again, right click, new and text document. And again, I'm going to backspace everything. And I'm going to rename this doom free dot boom free. And again, we're going to change the file extension for this. And just like the other file that we just created, I need to open this one up again with notepad. And inside of this one, I'm going to type base slash pak triple zero dot pk4 and again we're going to go to file and save okay so let's open up retro bat okay so we're inside of retro bat and it's quite unlikely at this point you're going to see Doom 3 anywhere. So from here, we're going to just open up main menu, game collection settings, systems displayed. And if we scroll down, we're going to disable ports. If we come out of here and we look for Doom 3, and here we go. Okay, so I'm going to open up Doom 3 from here. And just remember, within Retrobat, if we hold down the A button on my Xbox button, for example, I can actually configure this game 
from here. So this is going to open up a side panel on the right hand side. If I go to advanced game options, I can play about with some video settings here. So by auto, if I open up this game, it's going to go into the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. If I drop it down to full, the game should then open up in full screen. So if we open up Doom 3. Now right now I'm actually using my right analog stick and that's controlling the cursor. Check in at reception. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. I got it. To expedite your processing, please proceed directly to reception. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it set up your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This... Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and throughout the city. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. I'm here because of... Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management Office Need for... report to Alpha. Sergeant Kelly ASAP. He's in Command HQ. Took his sweet time. Attention UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. And that's it for today's retro bat in Doom 3 Boom Setup Guide. So, like I said in the video, it's your base and that DX folder which are going to get this working. Also, remember to create those two text documents and just do exactly what I've done and you should be fine. Anyways, if you liked the video today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel. Just Jamie. 
Also make sure to check out two entire playlists of retro back goodness that I pinned in my comments section so that would take you directly to main setup guides for retro bat is where was general helping information guides anyways join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro